How you doing everybody? Welcome to this episode of Press Start TV. We've got news and we've got the Video Game Hall of Fame and we've got some of our more E3 coverage, but also we're talking about story versus graphics for versus gameplay. Which one's more important to you? Pick two. Uh, <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, my name is Will and of course we have Nine. Hello. We have Mr. Gage Hi. and Miss Sam. Hey. So, let's talk about some news. Okay. News. Let's get right into this. Well, if we're going to talk about that, just give it. Just we'll leave the room. And let him talk. Well, you don't know what I'm going to say first. I, I guess that's true. <laughs> Let's talk about Dark Souls Three. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Dark Souls Three. What the talk? So, about. so is this? Th this was announced. This is a thing, or what? It. Um, well, a couple weeks ago, the guys over at Funhouse got on the know and leaked a whole slew of details about Dark Souls Three. Nice. Now, granted. This is after E3 now, so... Do we want to tell them? <laughs> Keep talking. It's, it, it, you know, there's a lot of good details about this game. There's a lot of really exciting stuff that I'm looking forward to. Okay. I, it's, He's so excited he can't I'm talk. I'm so excited he can't even speak. talk. Um, it looks much more like Dark Souls 1. Okay. And in, in the the aesthetics and the, the environments and everything. Um, Will it's this got game be more, harder than, deep, or than Bloodborne, you think? I'm gonna go with yes, okay. because the way you play co-op is far different from anything we've yeah. seen before. Dark Souls and Bloodborne kind of have the same kind of mechanic, but they differ light, slightly, but they have the same overall mechanic. Okay. This one, you supposedly create sacrifices with dead bodies. Because that's not creepy. And you can put them anywhere. Oh, nice. So it creates a, 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 a mid-level bonfire kind of thing, but that puts a bounty on your head. Okay. So, so there's people the, come after you to Exactly. Yeah. Kind of like the Sinister Bell in Bloodborne. Cool. But anywhere. So, so uh, <laughs> that adds an extra level of, of challenge for that. So all you, uh, all you uh, From Software fans out there, I'm sure you're going to be looking forward to this game, uh, Dark Souls 3. Um, <laughs> So we'll, <coughs> of course, have more information on that as soon as we get it. Um, Konami, uh, Konami came out and said that they're going to be putting a major push towards mobile games. This was a <laughs> thing. Is uh, <laughs> it a smart move? They came out and kind of apologized for the confusion, confusion saying that uh, we didn't want everybody to think that we were getting away from console games. We're still going to be supporting console games. So we're not just going to be focusing only on mobile games, but it is going to be a push of theirs. Kind of like what Nintendo's doing. They're, they're just, I think, trying to open the door to a new avenue to get more gamers involved sure. and get more funds and revenue and new fans because if you have a mobile game that is made by a particular place, and you say, "Oh, they, this guy made this game too. Let me go buy that." Yeah, I can. I can tell you that for me, mobile games. Um, I like the idea. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. The saying that they're going to support that, but I like a certain style of game on mobile games. I'm not going to sit down and play like <laughs> a full, blown out. Yeah, or whatever. I mean, just you know how when the first uh, digital only games came out, they were like certain. They were just smaller, a little puzzle based, just oh, mindless fun. Games. Indie that, games. that kind of a thing. So if I'm playing on my phone, I don't expect to have a full campaign or a full blown out Madden. Mad, you know, I don't want to do that. But those things are there now. But I don't want to do that. They're getting more and more popular. I'm saying I, that's I mean, not. You have what Call of Duty I, on a on a DS. Yeah, like, there is that. You can get on the Vita too. And the Vita, I mean, it's even there. still, I, I feel like that's like even I, different. I, I wouldn't but I, want. To there's certain experiences that I'd probably only want to play on console, and certain experiences that would probably be even more enjoyable on a mobile phone. This is just me, in my opinion, but that's where I'm at with it. Okay. I mean, this is them saying we're not giving up on consoles and PC. Sorry for that. That would confusion. be a silly. Well, silly maybe just, maybe that's what Kojima thought. Like that's silly. I'm out. I'm out. Yeah. Peace, y'all. And then I'm when out. he left, Konami was like, well, crap. No. Maybe we were in. Yeah. Let's just rethink that. Come back to us, Kojima. <laughs> that's not happening. Not going to happen. All right. Um, Uncharted uh, is getting the collection series um, for Nathan Drake. Uh, basically, all the Uncharted's minus Uncharted 4 in one Kind place. of. I mean, this, this, is, this is coming with the Uncharted 4 beta for multiplayer. The multiplayer beta, yeah. Yeah. So you're getting kind of getting all four games in one. Yeah, Uncharted <laughs> one, two, three. No multiplayer for those games, and then the, the beta for for Uncharted four. 
all new achievements and or trophies for this. As well. You know the the, <laughs> mul the multiplayer. Nine, I know you and I played a lot more Uncharted. Yeah. Um, the multiplayer in these games, I didn't have any interest in, but once you play it, it's kind of fun. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. I Tube's enjoyed good. Tube's good. the multiplayer in these games. The, the treasure chalice modes, yeah. where you got to throw the chalice into the the treasure chest pretty much it's a lot of fun it's hard too one of the cool things with the uh, with the multiplayer is when you play an uncharted game you get used to the mechanics like how he moves mm -hmm. around and the physics and how he climbs and how he goes to things exactly the same when, when when everybody's doing a multiplayer game it's different from like a call of duty you know because it's got their own kind of physics uncharted there's more strategic ways and just has a different feel <clears throat> Which is cool. Uh, it's like the weight's different. The physics are different. Everything's different. Yeah. Um, pretty cool stuff. So uh, FIFA 16 um, from EA uh, announced that they're going to include some of the women's national teams. Yeah, they came out a couple weeks to, uh, weeks ago and said they're including the women's national teams. Um, so that's just like uh, USA, Germany, mm -hmm. Brazil. I think they don't have all of them. I mean, they're in there. So I think you're going to see more come as DLC. But that's a more way to get get more players in. Yeah. Um, feature supporting the more female. athletes. Yes, supporting the female. Um, was this just a was this a a pressure decision or a conscious decision? I don't you know? think so. I never saw anyone say, "Hey, you should include female teams." I never saw that big push on the internet. It's anywhere. just something it's they just, wanted to include to make it more yeah. encompassing. And they brought in all the athletes and scanned them in just like the regular. Nice. Uh, well, not the regular, but the men and the the females. regular. Like, what, <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> the normal. Well, I tell you word that, buddy. <laughs> so I mean, they they treated them the same. They didn't you know step out anything. They're not leaving any stones unturned. You know. I think it's a good way to support women athletics in general. I mean, you know, there's women sports. Why isn't there women sports games? Yeah, sure. So, good on you, Other EA. than beach volleyball. All right, cool. Uh, so uh, after this, we're going to talk about the Video Game Hall of Fame, the first six games that are going to be inducted, and we'll have that for you right after this. Hey everybody, welcome back. We're going to talk about the Video Game Hall of Fame. The Video Game Hall of Fame. It's about time. It's about time. Yeah, I, I would say. I, I'm, I'm surprised that this wasn't like 10 years ago. Video games is still a new industry. It's what? only a 40 year old industry. <laughs> Only. Only. <laughs> yeah, but think about how Hall of Fames that come out for other big things like the NFL. That took forever. Right? Move on. You guys don't know what <laughs> You guys are all lost. Like, I just you know, thinking, to see what he's when did it happen? Because it's not like you don't just get like a new thing and then Hall of Fame right away. I, mean, I would you, say you forty years is a while. Four, I think forty years is a good target. Anyway, so um, <laughs> so they announced the first six games that were going to be inducted. Now I'm sure some of you out there are saying, I don't agree with this list, and some of you going, Yeah, that makes sense to me, but we'll see. Let's just go ahead and talk about. Sure, it. talk about the first six. The first one is Pong. Absolutely Pong. has to be there. Agreed. <laughs> one, one, Did, one million percent. That's a no brainer. Why doesn't Bottom. it belong there, Gage? I, I'm fine with Pong. I just okay. You, you just kind of look like you had. I to... like Pong. I didn't know that was the first game we were talking so, about because I didn't like the first game that's on that list. <laughs> Pong is getting a HD remake coming out on this gen uh, consoles. Featuring first. faster paddles. <laughs> Different speeds. Yeah. <laughs> Breaking news. Sorry. Um, so Pong, sure, yep. makes sense. Uh, Pac-Man. Love it, Pac-Man. Well, another one. Totally makes sense. That, that game spawned a revolution. I mean, there's and nothing Pac -Man. better than Pac-Man. <laughs> and Pac-Man Jr. Pac-Man Jr. Pac-Man Jr. is not that great. They're all the same, Gage. That's not that great. <laughs> Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man's faster. Pac-Man, of course, several different games later, yes. and cartoon series now, and all this. And kind of Amiibo. And Amiibo. Yep. Sure. Um, <laughs> so Pac-Man certainly worthy of the video game yeah, hall. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay, Doom. <laughs> <laughs> you guys talk about Doom. Started the first person shooter generation. Yeah, I, in I my mean, opinion. It was a mass, it, it built up such a massive following, uh -huh. it, on, especially on the computers when they first came out. It was like every you had to play this game. Mm -hmm. I mean, it had blood, guts, and gore on a 2D platform. It, like, it, you just couldn't argue with that. That's what made the game so great. <laughs> Crazy. I mean, and, and it was a huge, huge success, wildly successful, and still they, successful. They, they released a couple of games. I mean, it's still going. Yes, yeah, it's still going. Uh, and as we talked about uh, before, or as we just experienced at this year's E3, we saw Zoom at uh, 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 still going strong. So. Is it worthy of the Hall of Fame? Absolutely. The first six, you think so? Even yeah. though I don't like it, I think it's worthy. Yeah. yeah. Every yeah. every game it's, on this list, I think, is absolutely. Everything on this right. list spawned a generation yeah. of or, gaming or revolutionized or revolutionized yeah. it in some way shape or form yeah. okay the next game is a puzzle game no 
Yep. And I'm sure everyone out there is guessing this. Portal. Yes. <laughs> no, it's not Portal. <laughs> uh, Tetris. Yeah. I love Tetris. Love it. Everybody loves Tetris. Yeah, Tetris is great. Some it's had game, about 52,000 remakes. It's of this been point. on every single console. Some video game trivia for it for you. Tetris is the biggest selling game of all time. Well, yeah. It's available on every single platform. They put it out uh, uh, everywhere. Uh, it's a, it's a easy to play, easy to pick up. Um, the shapes of this thing. Easily things, addictive. The, 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 the music. Um, They're still doing Tetris Grandmaster tournaments. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's ridiculous. And it's insane. Certainly worthy of the list, uh, Tetris. Uh, moving on, Super Mario Brothers. Yep. Duh. Definitely worthy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're in the 30th year of Super changed Mario gaming all together. <laughs> in my opinion, if there was ever a game worthy of the list, it's got to be Mario. I, I think, you know. I think that was my There's first gaming experience. Video console I would say, around it, basically. I would say that Mario set the standard for the quality of games. In 1984, when yeah, you first came out. Your bushes for clouds. I, I mean, um, <coughs> the, flying fishes. Af, it came out after the Atari. It was packaged in with the game, and it was like this totally new thing. Yeah, also saved gaming. Oh yeah. my <laughs> gosh, it was just. A, and then now look at him. As, as everyone knows, Mario is just the biggest he's franchise a, in the world. Is he still know. going strong? Some people say he's more recognizable really? than like yeah. Mickey Mouse and stuff like this. Mario is this yeah. huge, iconic figure. Definitely worthy of the list. And lastly, we've got World of Warcraft. I don't like Which this. I agree. I, 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 I know totally you don't agree. agree I, with I this. absolutely think World of Warcraft should be on there. And wow. I think that's the only one that's controversial at all, but like, I think it absolutely All right, deserves. Sam, you've you played World of Warcraft. I've played World of Warcraft. Tell us why you think this should be on the list. It should be on the list because it has like sucked people in for 10 years. Yeah. I mean, of the 40 years that, you know, it's, you know, video gaming's been out. You know, I'm not saying it's. It has sucked in so much money, and <coughs> people have based their life around this game. I know. They have met South wives so just, and, I, and I know. you know husbands and created families with this game. All right, like, nine, nine. Clearly, Sam's very passionate about this. Tell, <laughs> tell us why you you, don't, you think this should not be on the list. WoW is based off of a premise that was already preset by another franchise that did and very, did very well at a time where video games what were just coming that? into online play. EverQuest. Nice. EverQuest built the foundation of MMOs. WoW just monopolized it. Made it pretty. That's all they did. Work. Yeah, they, I mean, they made it flawless. I they love WoW. Wow. Wow was, wow was I awesome. could not get into WoW. I couldn't get into EverQuest either, but in my opinion, EverQuest should be the first MMO in the game, in the Hall of Fame, and then WoW for its revolution. Yeah, you know what I'm afraid of is this is going to turn into like the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, mm -hmm. where everybody's going, how come they didn't make it? Why are they even inducted? This, does, this doesn't make any sense. A game sense that should be in there that's not on there? Yeah, let's talk about that real quick. Just a fi fast fire around. <laughs> Zelda is my is on yeah. my list. Why? Why is, is that, that not on there? there? I mean, just a huge, massive following. But we also don't know what they're categorizing all these things at. Good, what what either. qualifies? Who, who's making right. the decisions? Right? Yeah, absolutely. Good question. I mean, the good thing about an annualized Hall of Fame is there's going to be a next year. There's yeah. exactly. going to be yeah. more people but, going in the Hall of Fame. But it's like, why isn't this game made it? More yet? categories added it every it? year, too. Game that should be in there, it's not. Uh, Top of your head. I would say Zelda. If, if, if I, had, I have no time to think about it, but I would say just say Zelda. Okay, Sam? I, Zelda. I mean, like, I mean. <laughs> We're all in agree with that. <laughs> I'll Where say is Zelda? Though. I don't think Zelda gets in over those six. I, I think, think that so. would be I would put Zelda year. over WoW. I would, too. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even put it in a heartbeat. I mean, Halo. Me. All right, when we get back, we're going to talk about story versus graphics versus gameplay. Which one's more important to you? We'll have that discussion for you right when we get back. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. We just got to talking about the Video Game Hall of Fame. That's a thing, by the way. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we're going to talk about story, gameplay, and graphics. Which one's more important to you? Um, you know, games these days, obviously, have, have, games have come a long way, first of all. So let's get, let's, obviously, we know that. But technology is going to keep improving. We're going to keep seeing more and more experiences. We've got VR uh, getting way to work its way to consumers soon. I mean, who knows what we're, we're going to see in the next five, ten years in video games. But which is more important? Gameplay. Gameplay. Story. Yeah, you're, you're a gameplay guy. Gameplay. I don't think it's... All right, Gage, you, you get to pick two. Okay. Tell I'll us about... If I pick two, it's going to be gameplay and story. I don't... And story. I don't care about graphics. I mean, you, when you get a, a game that looks graphically well, you care for about 12 minutes. 
And then after that, you're like, okay, well, I'm just playing this game now. So gameplay is the important part because I don't think video game stories have ever been really that good. But if you if you were playing a great story had, that had good gameplay and the, the it looked that like crap, it looked like all pixelated and yeah, just Yeah, I play blocky. that game. It's called Minecraft. Okay. No story, <laughs> no graphics. Love the gameplay. And if you have gameplay, you're going to sell me on it. If I, I can get good story anywhere else. TV, books, movies. Uh, I can get good story okay. anywhere. I don't need it in my video games, too. I play video games because I want to play a game. It's weird. Gameplay. See how it works? Gameplay is what's important in video games, and that's what's selling video games right now. So that's the camp I'm in. So, so now we know what's engaged us <laughs> Let's talk Not about... Not story. <laughs> Well, Sam, let's go with you. What do you think? Um, I think number one is story. Um, story? Because you can get around gameplay mechanics that aren't awesome with a good story, and the same way with visuals. You can get around it if the story sucks you in. So you get to pick two. So I'm going to, well, I'd have to go with story and then gameplay. Because okay. if, honestly, you can get around some mechanics, but if the gameplay totally just doesn't work, you're not going to want to sit there and finish the story. Sure. So. Graphics, you can, you know. Graphics. I mean, yeah, well, the thing is, one like, the, like, like the show order, up. like it had great graphics. Perfect example. Great yeah, graphics. But, but if you put out Crap Batman story. Arkham Knight, and Batman looks like a chump. NES. You, yeah. You know, NES you know. Batman. <laughs> Would you play that Arkham Knight? Sure. <laughs> is the gameplay awesome? That's what I want to know. All right. All I care about is gameplay. Okay. Fair enough. So, so story. Sto story then. <coughs> story and gameplay, and you are. I'm game. gameplay story. Go. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, and I hate to admit this, I'm going to have to side with Gage on this. Okay. <laughs> Gameplay is my number one thing. Okay. Story is my number two thing. Okay. Poor graphics. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about graphics. I have never cared about graphics. Okay. I think the game looks pretty in the trailer. That's the only time I care about it. Sure. Is if it looks pretty when it comes out. I I play games like Terraria and Minecraft and you know all these old retro style indie games. No Man's Sky. Pretty game, oh, wow. but yeah. there's no graphical advantage to it. It's right. just a palette, a color palette. But I want the gameplay to be really good, and I want the story to be really good. The story is. That being said, if the story is absolutely trash, I won't even finish it. Okay. Even if the gameplay is far better than anything else in the market. Don't agree. I, I, there's I, nothing I can't get you over there. a bad story. There's if nothing, if there's yeah. nothing to hold my attention, I'm not just going to run around mindlessly killing things for no apparent but reason. But that's what I did in the Deadpool game. The story was terrible, but the gameplay was I'm, awesome. Yeah, I, kept I, it just, going. I need a good story. I would say that yeah. it's split it's down the middle. I need, both, I need both evenly matched. Uh, well, what do you got? So, so I'm also going to have to say gameplay. I, I think with gameplay, it, 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 when it comes down to it, if you're playing something if you just pick, let's say some, a casual gamer picks up a controller, plays a game that they've never seen or, or, or anything, and they can play mm -hmm. and enjoy it, mm -hmm. that's a sign of good gameplay. They're more likely to stick around and see what the story is like from that point forward. And then, with to take that a step further, your hardcore gamer who plays a more <coughs> involved game with more complex controls and more elements, and you can still have good gameplay there, they're going to keep playing. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, So gameplay, I, I feel, has got to be number one. Number two, I'm very torn on. I, I'll have to give a slight edge to graphics. Um, what? And, and I would say the reason why is what? because if you can, I love pushing the boundaries. I love seeing what the next thing's going to look like or creating an environment that looks pretty if you can play around in it. Um, you know, in, in Uncharted, which had a great story, the second one, I remember specifically while I was playing it saying, this is so amazing because what they were able to do with it at that time, I'd never seen anything like it before. And for me, it stuck in my head. Even though I was playing through the story and the story was great, I didn't care about the story at that time. I was like, this looks, I was having so much fun because it looked so good. I want to touch on that. Uncharted 1 was an awesome story with bad gameplay. But it looked beautiful. The story is what kept me playing that game. Yeah. I finished that game with the terrible combat mechanics that it had just because the story was that good. That's yeah. why I need that 50-50 split. Yeah. Yeah. So what we've all agreed yeah. on is gameplay is the game number one. Gameplay <laughs> is the number one factor in a game. Yeah, I mean, I, hands down. Even though I, I've played games that have pretty bad gameplay, but like stories are like like Mass Effect. Mass Effect One awesome. apparently had an awesome story. The gameplay was terrible. I finished it so I could play Mass Effect Two, which I heard was way better. But it <laughs> didn't it didn't keep me like I didn't care anymore. The gameplay was terrible, and I wasn't interested. I wasn't interested to finish the awesome story it had. 
just to sacrifice my gameplay experience. I wasn't I mean, going to play. You do get those rare instances where you get all three. Yeah, Uncharted it, is a is is a great example. Uh, and two the and thing three, about graphics. I mean, maybe I'll change my story. And, and and the thing about graphics is sometimes a game like Minecraft you mentioned sure. uh, can be simplistic in the way that it looks, but it's an art form. Like what are some of these games that are on digital down, like like the uh, Terraria. Yeah, games like that. The one with the ribbon. Um, in the ribbon. Three, <laughs> journey? Like journey, journey? Oh, things yeah. like that that's done. So that's or got a, if you actually flower. take the time to put into the story and pay attention to Journey, it's got a really deep story. The the black and white game where you're the little kid. Limbo. And Limbo. Limbo. Unfinished Swan. Love that. All these types of games. These are yeah, done yeah. intentionally. They're not triple-A powerhouse, you know, titles, but they look amazing mm -hmm. for what they're meant to be, you know? Sure. So there you go. Anyway. Game um, Gameplay. All right, so let us know what you think. We always want to hear from you. Uh, by the way, you can check us out on The Checkpoint, which is uh, every Wednesday when we check in with you on the latest and greatest in video games Wednesday in between Thursday. our shows. <laughs> uh, you can check us out on YouTube.com <coughs> slash PSVGTV, Facebook.com slash PressStartVG, or Twitch.tv slash Press underscore Start underscore TV. That's all the time we have for you today. Thank you so much for joining us. Until next time, see ya. Love you.